If you think that John Foley is really not in control, you might also want to think again, because John Foley specifically says in this release that one of the reasons that he's hiring Barry is because of the, quote, tremendous success that Barry has had in the past in partnering with founder CEOs at other brands. And that's in specific mm -hmm. reference to Reed Hastings at Netflix and Daniel Eck at Spotify. Mm -hmm. So the idea that somehow this is all being dressed up for a quick sale, we shall see. Okay. I want to bring in an Andrew, analyst quickly, right now to the, talk the about it. The market agrees with you. I mean, look at the stock is now down 10 percent. Um, it was down earlier this morning. It's down more steeply, having seen um, this release and what they're saying. The language in this release just wouldn't suggest that this is a company uh, setting itself up for a sale. Having said that, that won't that that's not going to stop necessarily if you believe that a Nike or an Amazon sure. uh, or an Apple or what? whomever wants to buy it, they can come forward with an offer. But this doesn't feel and read like a company I'm, that's ready to, to, to sell itself tomorrow. Uh, I'd agree with you. The one thing I didn't realize about Barry McCarthy is he's got a, a background in investment banking, too. <laughs> didn't know that about him. But um, which, which, which does lead you to the deal-making side of it. He, of course, did lead the direct listing of Spotify. Mm -hmm. And so he does have uh, clearly experience with the capital markets, which is probably, I imagine, another reason that they wanted to hire him, because there's going to be a sell job to be done here with the institutional investor class and sure. perhaps the retail investor class as well. Why don't we try to bring in a, uh, an Internet uh, analyst on this topic right now? Rahit Alcalcanari is here, analyst at uh, MKM Partners. Rahit, what do you make of this? Do you think this is a dress up for a sale or you think this is uh, a plan to operate? Uh, I think uh, Barry McCarthy is coming in to turn around the ship. Also, one thing I would add to the conversation is Barry uh, has been with TCV, uh, the Silicon Valley crossover investor, and TCV is uh, one of the top holders. Um, uh, in Peloton. So, again, uh, TCV used to be a, a top holder in Netflix, Spotify, and uh, Barry is coming in, probably, to uh, uh, turn around the ship uh, in the next six months. Beyond that, uh, we shall see. But I feel uh, uh, that's where uh, they are headed right now. But are you looking at this as a, a temporary turn the ship around to sell, or are you looking at this as operate into the future and John Foley wants to be there and this is this is the beginning of a of something else my bias uh, quick reaction to uh, reading all this and processing they they are hoping uh, to set the stage uh, to be a better improved company which means uh, probably uh, continue to operate as an independent entity uh, over the longer term uh, Barry McCarthy in my opinion wouldn't accept uh, stepping in uh, for a temporary uh, job to uh, turn it around and dress it up for sale. As Becky just mentioned, the stock is off. It's coming, it's maybe a little bit better than where it just was off. It was at one point off about 10 percent. Now it's off about 7, 8 uh, percent. Investors don't seem to be happy. This is not, uh, I imagine, what they were hoping for.